What's up guys, it's your boy Paul here coming at you with another video today. Uh, look, if you guys have watched any of my other videos before, uh, you know that I reference uh, working out quite a bit. You know that uh, I'm a big fanatic on health and just different things that we can do to um, enhance our health, you know, enhance our uh, body with whatever that looks like in whatever shape or form that takes, whether it's dieting, whether that's working out, uh, whether that's sleep. Um, and today, I'm gonna to be talking about something different within the health realm, uh, but I wanted to bring it to you guys because I feel like this will offer uh, a decent amount of value to you guys. And if you haven't already started practicing this, uh, this is something that I think should definitely take, start implementing within your daily routine. Whatever time of day that you see this fitting, I think you should do this. Now, what is it exactly that I'm gonna be talking about? It's breathing. And you're like, okay, breathing. I do that every day, uh, every minute of every day. Okay, that's good. But <clears throat> I recently read this book. Uh, it's called Breathe. Um, fantastic book. Um, but essentially, it blew my mind as far as like, I didn't think that there was like a proper way to breathe. Turns out there is, okay? Um, and like one of the reasons why like this is so important and this is kind of where I formed my foundational like belief as far as like, look, you can be fit but not healthy. Um, but, and that's not a good combination. You always want to be healthy. Now, whether or not you're fit, that will vary, but you always want to be healthy. But you can be fit, like your body can look good without actually being healthy. Healthy. And so my foundational like belief on this is for health, you have to get the proper amount of sleep, you have to uh, breathe right, and you have to be hydrated. Like for me, those are like my three pillars of foundation because even with your diet, now obviously you can't eat like trash, but here's why I have these like three foundational beliefs and then I'll get into like a little bit of what this book talked about. Um, like you can go look at the studies, whatever, but if you're not getting the right amount of sleep, we, we all know like worldwide that, that you're gonna be messed up. If you're not getting the proper amount of sleep, you're, optim you're uh, operating on way, way, way subpar levels. Uh, studies have shown that it's worse than operating like while being drunk. Um, and so it's like, okay, we know that you can't even get close to 100 if your body has not had the time to uh, restore itself, you know, do whatever it needs to do within the sleep cycle process. Okay, so we know that's number one. So now uh, two. We know that if you are not hydrated enough, that again, you, cannot, you can't perform even relatively close to where you could perform if you did have the proper amount of water, right? And so we know, secondly, that hydration is such a big key when it comes to uh, having peak performance. And now third, it's where breathing comes in. And this is why I added this to my um, like combination of my trifecta for health is because what I learned with the breathing was, wow, if you're not even breathing properly, which again, I didn't even know that was a thing, but if you're not even breathing properly, you can't perform even close to optimally for what it is that you're wanting to do. And so I was like, okay, cause this is my, like this is why I had these. Cause I'm like, okay, without any of these, we don't even get to reach 100. Now, if we're not, dieting properly, you could have arguments there, but the world of dieting is so vast, like within each of their realms that it depends on what you wanna do, is what I would say. Like what is your output that you're trying to get for um, whatever exercise or whatever life you're trying to have would probably determine what food groups you're gonna lean towards, therefore what diet you're gonna have. Um, because there are superstars within each realm, people who eat, you know, meat, people who only eat greens, you know, uh, people who do a, a little bit of both, people who do this diet, the keto diet, people who do this diet, you know, whatever other diet. It's like there are so many different realms and you're able to see each of these people perform quite well. But no one argues on the sleep. You can't perform that if you don't get the right amount of sleep. You can't perform well if you don't have water in your body. Well, okay, we know that we have water, but proper amount of water, you just can't. And then thirdly, it's with breathing. So all the others to me are variables, but these are the foundations of what you need to do in order to uh, perform your best. And the reason why with breathing is because it has to do with the, your oxygen levels and your CO2 levels, 
okay? Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to bring this up because there was a few interesting things, uh, and I'll go over a couple different breathing techniques uh, for you guys. That way, you guys can try them on your own, um, like in this book. But um, so the first of which was, so most people, like, like I just try to demonstrate it there for you guys. When you take a breath in, most people, when they say, like when you say, hey, take as big of a breath as possible, most people like fill up their lungs and thus their uh, shoulders go up, you know, their neck goes up, their upper chest goes up. And when I first did this, I was like, okay, yeah, like I felt my shoulders go up. And she was like, if you do this, you're breathing wrong. And I was like, oh, shoot, <laughs> that's not good. Um, but essentially, she talked about the difference between a vertical breath and a horizontal breath. A vertical breath is exactly what like you just saw, but a horizontal breath uh, more has to do with the belly expanding, the diaphragm pulling down and expanding your belly. So yes, it's going to make you look fat for a second, but that's okay. Apparently, that's the proper way to breathe. And then she goes, you know, explaining that all throughout this book um, and talking about like how that's like the natural form of breathing when we pull down versus like raise up and all this other stuff. <clears throat> um, and then another thing that she was talking about, so two other things was when you breathe horizontally versus vertically with a like this, but horizontally like with your belly, what it does is that it, it actually massages a lot of your internal organs, which is an absolute necessity for their proper functioning. Again, if we think about if we're working out a lot and we're like, you know, super tight, super short, what do we do? We go get a massage or we ask someone, hey, can you give me a massage my back's tight? And thus that allows us to perform better because we know what massages do. But think about this, like your internal organs are so important, yet when are you ever massaging them? And so she talks about like this natural process of horizontal breathing massages all those internal organs so they're functioning properly. And thirdly, when you're breathing right, um, it's going to allow for better levels of oxygen and lower levels of CO2 which is essentially what you're wanting because you don't want CO2 in your body and you want, well, I should say, you don't want a lot of CO2 in your body and you want a lot of oxygen in your body, the more the better. And so essentially it's like those three things that the proper breathing allows you to do to reach your peak state. And so I wanted to share, um, if I can turn to it real quick, I have my bookmark in this because I'm starting it today. I just finished up this book the other day. Um, but you essentially get, um, 14 days to measure where you're at in your uh, breathing progress. So that's kind of cool. So today is day one for me to practice the workouts because she also gives workouts in this book as well, which is kind of cool. But I wanted to <clears throat> uh, share with you a couple different types of breathing. That way you guys can try it on your own. So right here, she has a glossary of different types of breath and she literally gives so many examples. So I'll just, I'll just read some to you. Uh, it's called the four, seven, eight breathing exercise. Uh, this is when you inhale through your nose for four counts, uh, breath is held for seven counts and the exhale is through your mouth, making a whoosh sound for, uh, eight seconds. And then you repeat the cycle for three more times. Um, <clears throat> let's go to another one. Breaks down belly breathing, breath walk. <clears throat> <clears throat> talks about all different types of like lateral breathing, lung capacity, break, just breaking down like a lot of these definitions. Um, and another one that, that I like to do is a four, four, four. So it's like that. And then you just repeat it. So it's four in, four hold, four out your mouth. And uh, if you guys have ever heard of Wim Hof before as well, he's huge into breathing. Now his is a lot more uh, faster paced. Um, it's almost like hyperventilating type of breathing. Um, but it just introduced me to this world of breathing and I was like, man, I did not pay attention to this at all, nor have I heard a lot about it. Like whenever I listen to like the, uh, uh, like any fitness people or anything like that, you're always hearing about supplements, you're always hearing about different, you know, workout routines, calisthenics versus weights and CrossFit and just, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But like, when's the last time you heard about someone talking about breathing for your health? And I was like, well, this is a basic everyday thing. And again, the reason why these three things are my foundations is because I'm like, okay, breathing is an everyday thing. 
you need your water. You need to be putting water in your system every day. And then lastly, you need sleep every day. And so it's like, do I need to work out every day? No, I don't. You know, do I need to um, do, like have salads every day? No, I don't. Do I need meat every day? No, I don't. So those other things, like I said, are all variables. But these things, it's why they're my foundation because I'm like we do them every day. And so essentially, I wanted to bring this idea uh, and this topic to you guys. Hopefully, you guys can do like more research on your own with it. Uh, but again, the book is called Breathe, um, and it's just phenomenal. It's just phenomenal. So it'll introduce you to that. And then I'm also uh, reading another book right now called Slow Burn. Uh, Tony Robbins uh, wrote about it a little, a little bit in one of his other books. Uh, so that's very interesting as well. But talk about breathing in that book as well. Um, so look, what I want you guys to do as far as practical application from this video, what I want you guys to do is <clears throat> whether it be uh, order this book or look up a few different breathing exercises online and learn how to start breathing uh, like with your lower belly versus like your lungs and your shoulders and upper chest. Not with your lungs, but like your, your chest uh, and your shoulders. Um, <clears throat> and like learn that horizontal breathing. Like I said, today is going to be day one for me as far as starting the workout routine that she put in the back of the book. Um, and so I will let you guys know how that goes. But <clears throat> Um, yeah, start incorporating this. She said you can do this, you know, for as little as like five minutes, <clears throat> two to three times a day. So I'm like, okay, I definitely think I can do that. And so I'm about to do it uh, shortly after this video, and then I'll probably do it uh, later today, maybe like an hour or two before uh, I'm trying to go to bed. But it's super cool too. Uh, obviously, I, I didn't like talk about even seven eighths of the things that are in the book, but she gives uh, breathing workouts. She gives uh, breathing exercises to do, like if you're stressed. Uh, she gives various various breathing exercises to do, whatever uh, fits your mood or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. She, she talks about breathing for when you're stretching, breathing for when you're cooling down, breathing for when you wanna do a workout, uh, like I said, whole breathing exercises that will actually make you sweat and it's like an actual workout but for like your diaphragm for your lungs and all that which is pretty cool um so yeah anyways that's the practical application for this video uh buy the book look up a few different uh breathing exercises and start seeing how you can incorporate the lower belly breath into uh your daily routine compared to the vertical breathing because that'll help out your health a lot so uh, that's essentially today's video, okay? So if it helped, uh, leave it down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you have heard about this before, uh, please let me know. If you know like another expert within this field, uh, who did I just see? I think his name was like Patrick McGowan or something like that. Uh, he's another guy that his name just kind of came across uh, the YouTube uh, when I was on YouTube. Um, so lots of experts within this field, but if you have heard about this before, and you currently already do incorporate this into like your routine in some way, shape, or form, I would love to hear uh, below how so, okay? Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who could use this video, maybe they do struggle with breathing. Maybe they are a snorer at night. Again, all of this stuff can help, okay? Uh, and as always, stay tuned for the next video. All right, I'll see you guys.